welcome back to my channel so today in this episode i will be showing you how to save your theme data or app state which we created in my last uh, second last video which was theming in flutter so here i was um, using a file called app state so you can see that here i created a app state dot dot if you are not aware of uh, of this project you can definitely go to my uh, website and check around how this uh, theming in flutter is done and where is the youtube video and any everything about this you can learn um, so uh, here today i will be showing you that uh, earlier what happened we were not able to save the state of uh, our app whether last time the dark mode was used or the light mode was used right so now in this tutorial i am going to save the state which means that I'm going to persist this whole object in some type of storing scenario like we can use Hive, we can use shared preferences, we can use database. So all of these options options are there, but uh, I have chosen Hive because this is the most um, exciting thing that is going on right now in the Flutter community and everywhere. So Hive is really very fast and plus it is very easy to implement and it has uh, options to be used on Flutter web as well. So uh, to start with, uh, I will be going to my pubspec.yml file and we will be using some more dependencies. So let's uh, add them here, right? So first of all, we will need a provider we won't need now. So I'm going to remove this. And uh, before removing this, I will remove it at the later stage because the app will not run and I will not be able to show you step by step uh, proceeding of the uh, app okay so we are going to use hive first of all so right hive 1.0.0 then we are going to use hive flutter the uh, implementation is very easy so, so uh, don't shy of trying this at your uh, machine and we are going to use path provider so that we can allocate some um, file uh, or some storage space to our hive storage okay that's why we need path provider so that we can access um, os specific uh, location when we have to store our hive storage you can say like that so we will use hive generator so that uh, we can use type adapters uh, which will uh, ensure that your app state becomes a type of hive model or hive box or something which can be stored in a hive box okay then uh, we will use build runner which is, which comes from flutter directly okay after doing this go to any of your file uh, you can go to let me just do it okay you can go to main dot dot in some moments it will show you that you have to run flutter pub get so yes you can run it get dependencies here right okay <clears throat> once it is done we will directly navigate to app state and uh, try to use import hive yeah so we don't have right now uh, i think it's not run properly so let's run it okay fine now it's run so we will be using import hive here so that we can annotate this uh, class as a type of hive okay and just empty constructor no problem with that so that this type of model will be created uh, for us okay uh, with hive considerations then we are going to use hive field and we are going to give index of that so indexing is good here that's why we are using uh, after this we will want to remove change modifier because we are not going to use change modifier we will be using watch box builder for that which generally means that this model when saved into a hive box will be watched okay so it's type of a replacement for your stream builder if you're using hive okay fine so this we have done nothing we have to do in this except for that we have to add part and you have to be very careful with the naming of this file you cannot name it app state dot g dot dot you have to name it app underscore state g dot dot and then you have to run this command flutter packages pub run build underscore runner build now once you run it we will see some changes here we will see some errors going 
and let's wait for some time for this to run probably it doesn't run because um, let's see how much time it takes yeah it is starting so this this is these are the steps that will be taken zero of three actions completed okay took a lot of time okay fine so everything is done now if you go here you will see a auto generated type adapter class right which is app state adapter we will require this and i don't know whether you should change it or not but we can change it uh, since we are using 2.1 right now so it's like this but never mind it will work okay fine uh, i should uh, fine so we'll close this file and we can close this app state dot dot plus popspec.ml now any now what is remaining we have to do in main right so right now we are using consumer we are using material app and in the task page we are using provider of so first of all uh, we will need to uh, maybe just create another method right so that it is more clear for you right fine and this will be like this because we need uh, <clears throat> to open to initialize hive to initialize the uh, path where we have to store hive models so all these things have to be done which will take some time so we need to provide async for that right so we are going to write final app document directory or dir and then we want to await uh, before that we should import path provider as well you can do this like path provider right then path provider dot get application documents directory this will give you the directory of app which generally os keeps it hive dot in it then we will initialize hive so before that we should import hive also here so hive dot in it and then you can give app documents directory dot path right then you have to register your adapter because it's your own register so it's on your it's your own class which is not primitive so you have to register app state adapter okay and you have to give type which you can give as zero so and this should be unique obviously now um, what we will do uh, we will um, create a box which will be called as app state box this box can contain multiple objects but right now it will only contain app state that's it okay so we are going to write await because we are opening it for first time so we should use open box okay and you can name it as app state box okay or uh, directly app box anything you can name it now this box will contain multiple objects it this will not give us the app state model right so uh, when we start the app and we want to fetch this this will be null right no sorry this will not be null uh, I, I mean to say app state box is a box which will contain app state okay so let's uh, work in this way uh, we have to initialize this box with like app state box dot put we have to put a box inside it. Uh, we have to put a model inside it which is of uh, which should have a key of anything that you think is relevant and then you just initialize this so this thing we were doing here right so we just moved it up we are going to actually comment it don't get confused um, app state was getting initialized at the first time when the app runs so when the app runs it is getting initialized with a empty model right what happens okay that I will tell you later um, that is a, a little more hard to explain right now now we are going to use uh, a watch builder watch box builder okay and inside this box, watch box builder i am going to use a uh, box as hive dot box and you can give see now app state box has this thing as uh, app state right so uh, we need to use app state box okay there can be multiple boxes in a app so this is uh, you can say this is a uh, this is a table you or you can say <coughs> yeah table which can contain multiple type of objects 
it's it's like no sql right you can have any type of object in a form of json okay so in the builder you can have a function which will have context and sorry context and a box right and then uh, you can re return my app which is similar to this thing right now this part is done what will happen i will get the document directory i will initialize the hive register this adapter this is required otherwise your adapter will not work you won't be able to save this type of object into your hive storage then you have to create a box put app state in the box and then init then run your app it's like this okay and then i would just comment this also uh, just for the sake of freshness i will directly use material app here okay and on top of that i am going to yeah before this let me do one thing you need to make this stateless widget as stateful the reason is very easy simple you can say you need to dispose your hive right otherwise um uh, system will do or otherwise hive will do so it's better you do it beforehand okay uh, fine so we have done this now i need to comment this out and then i have to use i have to fetch the app state now you guess it how to fetch it it's very easy get the box app state box which is this name then get the uh, element from this box which has key of app state right now uh, you know this is a type of app state you are you getting this because um, see what we did this is the box and this is the element inside the box we will um, i will tell in this way now okay so once you have got this app state uh, you just need to take all this okay copy paste it and you have app state right this is what we needed now app state by default has dark mode on as false so this will be called right now uh, we need to go to this provider we, we are not using provider now so nothing will be used here so what you can do is same line you can write here you can use fi final app state put it here and you will have app state now now what is the value of the switch it is nothing but app state dot is dark mode and what is the value of uh, when we change it so it's like this right so this is how it is done and now i can completely delete it i can delete this all the commented parts are gone and let's just add here and this let's try to run this and i will show you the two things that are still needed in this code we are almost done guys uh, just maybe two three minutes more and it will be done this is a fairly smaller video um, and uh, i just want to i want you to uh, see as actually someone asked me in the comment section how to when how to preserve the state how to preserve the dark mode if he has already made it as dark mode okay so you will get this error this is a new error newest error you can say uh, which is which comes with when you update your flutter with some latest version so you just have to do this and then it will be working fine for you okay so someone asked me in the comments that uh, how can we preserve the state what he was doing is he was making the uh, apps mode as dark and the ui was getting changed then he was cling the app and when he opens the app again it shows you the uh, what uh, it show you the light mode always the reason behind that was app state was getting initialized every time and it has dark mode on as false okay so you cannot see here anything why um, something is wrong probably um oh i have not run this sorry okay so it was like when you close this app app state the app state all always have dark mode on as false so it always gives you light theme at first so now we are preserving it and when the app launches we are using that but there is also one more issue i will show you just now uh, but before that i want to you to see this why it's not running okay there are some errors okay no problem i probably have to oh, shut okay fine i just copied it and didn't add 
wasted two minutes of yours sorry guys um, okay uh, so it will run in another half a minute quick quick okay it's installing now okay so now if he was doing this changing the mood this is not becoming black I don't know why um, I have to see it um, okay oh sorry so one more line here we need to add we need to update our box because we are watching the box so okay other than that you can do this app state dot put sorry uh, just got, uh, sorry not this you have to update the box as well so app state box you fetch like this and then uh, put your app state model again with the updated value obviously uh, provider auto is a change notifier so it automatically updates but this line you have to write because you want this uh, box to be watched right which we are using here uh, in the watch builder right so whenever the bo box value changes then only this will work now since we are not changing the box value it is not working so I'm hot reloading it and then when I change it see the output it is black and it is white now what he was saying is when he does this black and he closes the app like this and then he runs it again it is white why reason is very easy every time we open this main app state box dot put is inserting app state empty model right so this will always initialize app state with dark mode on as false so what we need to check whether app state dot box dot get app state is null or not if it is null then initialize otherwise there is no harm right and then if we rerun it we will see the difference right so two things one is this second is this null check otherwise everything is fine and this code you can find on my github i have already updated the code you can go to the github go to theming demo and go to this hive integration branch and see the changes whatever i have done i have already pushed the changes you can see all the packages updated here and in the live lib you can go to main dot dot and every code everything you will find here let's just uh, run it so this is dark i'm finishing the app completely and starting the app again and this is black right that's it this is the end of the video and uh, i'm thinking to create a post also so maybe in one or two days you might find a post on this but this is a fairly easy thing so i'm not uh, really interested in creating the article for this okay so i have already pushed the code you can check out the hive integration branch thank you guys bye and keep learning from